a fresh start with you. As it seems, this energy is reflecting on the past. This energy is thinking about the memories. They're very nostalgic. And whether this is an experience where they're being stuck in the past or they're being haunted by it, someone is thinking deeply about the connection they had with you. I feel like this energy wants to get another chance. Hmm. Wanting to have something that everlasting this energy is wanting to speak up or talk to you after leaving something up in the air i feel there's a disconnect when dealing with this energy fleeting energy fleeting feelings things are definitely not the same when dealing with this person who you thought you know now it seems this energy wants to leave the past in the past hmm. Not wanting to reflect on what was said or what was done because it may be too frustrating or difficult to deal with. I feel this energy made something more complicated than it needed to be because they were not willing to change when it comes to their unhealthy choices. I feel this energy made a lot of unhealthy choices that took a lot out of you as well as this connection, causing something to be uncertain too hard to deal with because of their reckless ways. I feel like this energy had a lot of reckless ways, toxic energy when it comes to drama, causing something to be a rocky road when dealing with a friend or a twin flame. Wow. So for many of you, this could be a situation connected to a friendship, a bond, a close bond, or a twin flame energy. Someone who is mirroring you in some type of way. There could also be a soul contract here where you may have known this energy for years. Hmm. Now the chemistry is different. The chemistry is off because of someone taking a risk in an illusion. I feel there is no compromise with this energy. Well, you are unable to settle a dispute with this energy and this is why the chemistry is off because someone was too invested in how things looked and not how they truly were this is someone who was trying to get away with something forbidden this is why their town as well tied or strapped down to this illusion because someone failed to compromise it definitely made something more difficult because this energy you continue to make unhealthy choices because they lacked in having boundaries. I feel this is someone who was pl who is playing a lot of games or they're coming out with player energy and this is why they walked away. This is also tied to their unhealthy choices when it comes to a contract. Someone knows that you were a gift. A gift when it comes to love or acceptance and now there's a sense of heartbreak since the both of you are no longer on the same page. I feel like this energy feels trapped by some legal issues or a situation that they feel is tying them down. They're trying to work on it, mm. but they're also being very immature about something. Still stringing something along keeps them trapped, hiding behind the mask. For many of you, this energy is hiding something while trying to keep up with appearances, watching, waiting, still giving in to their weaknesses. Someone feels like you're going to question their every word, their every thought, everything that they have done in the past. I feel this energy is not wanting to be judged. This is why there is no clarity and another reason they left or walked away. I feel for many of you, this energy left abruptly without words, without giving some type of explanation for the reason they've changed. Now they feel somewhat obsessed or even jealous because of something that is very surprising to them. There could also be some talk about you. Talk about them. Please take it how it resonates. Reverse the roles if necessary. But someone's surprised that something worked out for you. Hmm. Over time, something has been made clear to this energy as they're still sitting in a space where they're unaligned. I feel this is someone you may have had contact with in the past life who is now looking for signs to ascend. They're still sitting in a space of admiring you or wanting you back. Someone does see you as a twin flame, a true friend, or soulmate. I feel like this is someone who has other energies involved here. 
Because a dream didn't come true. Someone is hoping something happens with you in divine timing. I feel this is someone who needs to heal. Because opposites do not attract. Someone needs to heal from something in the past to bring something together with you. But I feel they're still dealing with temptation, weaknesses. And someone is needing to move or go the distance. And they're going to have to put the work into it. I feel like this is someone you were waiting for. You were waiting for this person to come in with some type of clarity. Be a true friend or show some type of effort. Yet this energy was still chained to something. Chained to some false ways and still giving you the cold shoulder. For many of you, I feel like you had to focus on self. This energy was too false or too invested in something that was not even worth their time. Now they're trying to fix something because they're too obsessed with how they are looked at by others. This is someone who is trying to project some type of image. And I feel that changed the chemistry in this connection almost indefinitely. Let's get some more energy here. Hmm. Yeah, this is someone who walked away who needs to do better, uh, ascend, but this energy is still trapped in some jealousy. I feel like this energy is not being clear about the accusations they have placed against you, and it's also causing them not to ascend. I feel like this energy knows what they had with you was authentic, but this energy gave into a sense of guilt or shame. Hmm. Still needing to discover something about self. Someone walked away from you. I feel someone walked away from you because they were too childish or immature to ascend. So they gave into something that was forbidden. This is also attached to some type of illusion or false way of being. I feel this energy is in a space of discovering something about their anger, they're triggered, and they're going through a sense of heartbreak. I feel like this is a lot of highs and lows for someone who is carrying a very vengeful heart, resentment. Someone is not wanting to be humiliated, but I feel we're past that. Because this energy is always faking something, there is no harmony. So I definitely feel this energy is very unsure about a partner, emotionally confused, and this is why they're always sending some type of mixed signals. We have money in the reverse, so this is letting me know this energy is having a lot of money issues and possibly needing some type of support. This energy feels like they settled for something. They settled for some type of illusion, and for some of you, you told them the truth, and they just didn't listen. Now there's a sense of silence. Maybe your heart is now unavailable. Someone feels like you have something on lock. Hmm. This energy wants to bring something together with you, but I feel this energy is going through an awakening. Someone wants you to open your heart towards them, and they're not wanting you to move away, but I feel their temptations and weaknesses, is, they're starting to get the best of them. I feel the love that was connected between the two of you is fading because something is definitely unaligned because there is no clarity. I feel like this energy has created some type of distance or silence with you because of a revengeful spirit. I feel there's a lot of highs and lows when dealing with this energy who is completely triggered by a heartbreak with you. There's also a lot of broken promises here. This energy emotionally let you down, yet they're the ones who is under pressure and resentful for their choices. Someone knows that what they did was forbidden or unfor unforgivable, but they also realize something dealing with you was always meant for. Hmm. I feel like something that you're stepping into is something that they're not watching you succeed in. And there could be some bitter feelings behind it because their life is not the same. I feel like this is someone who's been lying to you or jealous of you for years. As it seems, it's too hard to believe that you have made it through something. It seems this energy cuts you off because you're not investing in something. 
It's energy to cut you off because you're not investing or believing in this victim mentality that they're trying to portray. Or even the pity parties. Mm. I feel like someone who is trying to make sense of it all and still trying to keep up with appearances. And since they can't get you to fall in line or pay attention or give them any attention for having this low vibrational energy, they're seeking attention somewhere else. Hmm. A fear of loneliness. Something is definitely coming soon. Criticizing energy. So I feel like this is someone who is simply stuck in the past. Stuck in the past and having some trouble hearing the truth. This is someone who doesn't want to be criticized and this is another reason they walked away. This energy knows they're living in some type of illusion and playing a lot of games, leaving something in the air, but I feel this is someone who is used to just making things difficult. And as I said before, since they couldn't get your attention or pity from you, this energy did something very reckless and changed on you abruptly. I feel this is someone who changed on you quickly or they did some type of switch on you. Yet I feel they did this because they resent you because you're able to speak and live your truth while they're still in a space of needing help. I feel this is someone who played a game and now they feel like they're trapped in some type of illusion for their unhealthy choices. But I also feel there's a sense of expectation. I feel like this energy expected you to just let something go. Someone didn't see you doing better without them or actually walking away because they never expected you guys to not be speaking. I feel like this energy is very guarded. This is why something is feeling like it's no compatibility. I feel like this energy never thought that you would leave or walk away from them being demanding or overly zealous. Hmm. I feel like this energy is sitting in some type of resentment or anger because you're not speaking, not talking, or something has gone silent. I feel like you're not talking because this energy is now realizing you're not uh, tolerating the abuse, their passive ways, or their pent-up anger. I feel this is someone who has pent-up anger when it comes to some type of confusion. I feel like this energy plays a lot of games and feels like they need to be rescued. There's a lot of loss, insecurities, vulnerability. This is someone who doesn't want to be vulnerable, so this is why they end up walking away. But I feel in so many ways, even though they have walked away, they're still holding on. As they know, what they did to you was completely without reason. And this is why they continue to hold on, even though they have walked away. This is someone who's coming out as the lone wolf. Someone who is demanding, always comparing situations and procrastinating. This is someone who was telling untrue stories. And this is why it makes it so hard to love them. Invest in them. Be there for them. Because this energy is lacking boundaries and always making excuses. Many of you have chose to do something differently. I feel this is someone who has a lack of boundaries. They're always excusing their own behaviors. And this is why they're always acting cold and sending mixed signals. This is someone who's hiding their feelings, but I also feel they're going through a state of judgment. I feel like this energy hides their feelings and make excuses, which always leave them stuck in the past for something that is unresolved or has no closure. But I feel in the end, you always end up getting hurt. I feel like this energy hides their feelings because they want to avoid getting hurt as well. And this is why they end up staying stuck in the web of lies, past trauma. Even though love may be the answer, many of you are questioning that right now. I feel many of you thought love was the answer, but I feel you had to retreat because you're no longer wanting to lose yourself in this mess. This is someone who is coming out as needy, feeling rejected and unworthy feeling unloved so I feel like when all of these things are put together this energy being rejected and needy and feeling unloved it's going to cause them to change 
they have no way out of it. Someone is, was seeking some type of perfection from you, but I feel it was a double standard because this net energy was never putting in ever in the effort <laughs> or trying to change because in so many ways I feel you gave so much and you're no longer trying to help them or even fix them because they're always going to play the victim. I feel in due time something will come soon. This is someone moving quickly, impulsively because they feel time is running out. They're trying to put the pieces together, trying to figure out why they invest in making things so difficult because somehow, some way, things have definitely put them in a space where they're feeling incomplete. Lone wolf energy, this energy always leaves. So this energy is so used to being a lone wolf or standing alone, it seems this energy is always walking away from something and never fixing it. But for many of you, I feel you're no longer tolerating the abuse and this is why there's silence or distance or you're just not talking. For many of you, you feel like enough has been said and there's a need for change. This is someone who needs to invest in self before they attempt to come back to you. Let's jump into a different deck here. Of course, if you guys are enjoying the reading, let me know by commenting down below or liking this video. So let's jump right into the energy. So for many of you, this energy is wanting to reach out to you. They still have a sense of passion or they still feel drawn to you. I feel in so many ways something has been in, enlightened to them. While they're wanting to reconnect, many of you may be investing in yourself. This is someone who knows that you're not uh, tolerating something. Their passive ways, their anger, their abuse. And they're needing something from you. Whether that is your love, affection, attention, financial help. Someone is wanting to get your attention in the worst way. I feel like this is someone who still worries about how things are perceived. This could be a lover, a friend, or even a family member. Yet I sense they feel alone right now because they feel like something isn't the same between the two of you. It will never be the same or you'll never see them the same. This energy wanted to be free, but now they're heavily burdened, stressed, and a sense of negativity. This energy feels locked out having no access. Someone feels like their access to you has been denied and they're going through a sense of hardship because you're hard to reach. I feel this energy knows they have been locked out because of a battle or a war or the fact that they're always being a sour patch. Always making things sour when it should have been sweet. I feel this energy wanted to spotlight yet they were living this make-believe world in a sense of confusion possibly even believing their own lies. This energy is coming out as a snake, someone who is invested in lies and betrayal, bad news, and this is why they're always creating a lot of trauma, arguments, chaos. I feel things are falling apart in their world because they have no loyalty. And for some of you, a true lack of respect. I feel things are falling apart for someone who is sugarcoating the truth and repeating cycles. And in so many ways, they know they're not the one with the victory because there was no reward in being a snake. This is someone who knows they need to speak up and communicate with you and make that phone call. But they feel like you won't be listening. And for some of you, you're clearly not. You've already put up your brick wall. This is someone who also feels like they're always right. Someone else created this storm, these struggles, these challenges. But I feel in so many ways they're going through a lot. And this is why things are falling apart because they fail to acknowledge the truth. They're too stubborn to do so. I feel like this is someone who is too insecure to be vulnerable. Yet I also feel that frustration stems from the fact that they feel they had to settle for less while you were able to get through the rain and the pain. Because I sense even though it was tough and nothing was given to you, you're always learning from life. 
and somehow, some way, you just made it look so easy. I feel this is someone who's going through a lot of hardship because of their stubborn ways or their lack of commitment, yet they're wanting to make an offer. This is someone who wants to make an offer. They want you to know that they have turned over a new leaf. But I feel this energy is just saying what they feel you want to hear. Because things are still moving at a snail's pace. I feel like this energy may be trying to make this offer because they know they allow time to just slip away. But they also feel they need to confront these issues with you. Because they have definitely made a mess out of what was given. This is someone who wants to make amends and have some type of melody or surprise you. They feel like something is faded. They feel there's still some type of spark there and there's a lot of wish fulfillment when it comes to you. I feel this energy sees you as a close friend, a real bond, something that was true. But I feel this energy had a really hard time of being loyal and replete, repeating cycles. And this is why all the chaos and obstacles are invested and entangled into their life. There's a lot of confusion here. Someone wondering which way to go, unclear on choices. Someone doesn't even know why they've created this battle with you. Someone should have quoted the truth, and this is why the obstacles and chaos are running rapid through their life. And this energy is coming out as a nibbling mice who always finds it hard to appreciate others, especially you. And this is attached to their stubborn ways of sugarcoating the truth and causing the chaos that only cause them to burn bridges and cause fireworks, not the good ones. I feel this is someone who wants you to open up or give them some type of leeway within a situation. Someone just wants you to forget about the past instead of speaking up or talking about it. But I feel this is another reason why many of you feel like they're inconsiderate or you don't want to hear what they have to say because it's a complete nightmare. The longer they lie or fail to acknowledge something, the balance will always be off. Things can't be ba balanced because of what they have invested in. Wow. This is someone who has no control. I feel like they have no control of what they're saying or what they're speaking about you. And they're wanting to clean that up. They want you to let something go. Something that they said or did. And they're thinking about their options. Which is little to none. I feel the more they lose, the more they are wanting to lose reach out and clean something up because things are unraveling things are unraveling as this energy is needing to come out of this illusion of wearing rose colored glasses or just not seeing a truth on purpose someone is definitely coming up short and they're needing to make some real choices real soon i feel this is someone who is definitely thinking of you and thinking of the memories and they're also watching you grow this is why they want to reconcile. Someone wants a little bit of your energy. But I feel to reconcile, this energy needs to transform. I feel there's needing to be a transformation when it comes to their robotic ways or their robotic heart. Because these empty energies or promises that they make is definitely wearing thin. It's just become a boring routine to deal with. Someone needs to grow before they reach out. So if something was fated to happen, there could be a surprise call or message soon. This is someone who is thinking about what they invested in and they're also reflecting on something that you said or did that they now see you are only trying to help them and not cause more confusion. I feel many of you were not trying to cause confusion in their life, but this energy wasn't listening to you. Now they're wanting you to open up, but I feel this is someone who just needs to speak up. Your energy was never the same. You was always loyal, but I feel many of you had to retreat or take a few steps back because this energy was not being logical or respectful. I feel you just had to let them learn the hard way. Mm. Because even though you make things easy, nothing was ever given to you. And the same work that you have done is the same work that they need to invest in. 
For many of you, I feel you had to make a head over heart decision when dealing with this energy. Find your own answers through spiritual work or just using your intuition. So I definitely feel this is someone who feels someone did some type of black magic. And for many of you, they feel like you just cleared them away. No questions asked. But in so many ways, I feel this is someone who created a lot of struggles, challenges, and obstacles within this situation. And this is why they feel something was cursed or doomed for them. Someone is needed to speak up on the challenges they created because the chaos and confusion only ended up hurting them. There was no victory. There was no reward. I feel like something needed to end. Something needed to die for someone to heal. For someone to heal from the chaos, the trauma, the pain. Wow. I feel like this is someone who had tunnel vision, limited vision, or a narrow-minded view of something causing some type of haze or fog, confusion when it comes to their web of lies. But I feel eventually they got caught for a sticky situation, snake-like behaviors of deception and lies, as this energy is coming out as a chameleon, even a donkey. So chameleon energy here is letting me know this is someone who is always able to transform or be incognito, adapting to anything. This energy is very stubborn, yet flexible when they need to be. This is why I feel like this is someone who wants to just come in and tell you what they feel you want to hear. Especially when it comes to a commitment or a tradition. I feel something is fated to happen. Something is fated to happen when dealing with this energy who is about to learn some real karmic lessons in life. Involving you and many of the things that they're still failing in. Because something is definitely going up in smoke. Hmm. There's some type of an explosion due to their own sabotage where the paint is definitely starting to chip away. And someone is being seen for exactly who they are, flaws and all. These layers are about to be exposed. And their imperfections are definitely being seen by others. I feel this is someone who is going through a dark time of guilt, regret. They're on a very tragic energy of a black umbrella they're experiencing financial issues money problems and they're just trying to survive this energy is trying to calculate things and things are still not adding up they're very emotional they're wanting to replenish but they're also sitting in a space of insomnia having sleepless nights I feel this energy is having sleepless nights on what to do and how to fix this nightmare, but I feel they've had tunnel vision in this cloudy haze for so long. Now things are complicated, unraveling, hard to control, and that's not what this runner is used to. Hmm. This is someone who thought that they were going to avoid something that is coming their way, and it's about to meet them head on. And I feel like it's their karma. Because this is a disruption within their life, a volcano, a tower moment. There is nowhere to run and nowhere to hide for someone who is in the early stages of their karma. I feel someone's family tree has been affected by someone who is very egotistical or not sitting in a space of strength, just pride because of the reckless or impulsive ways. I feel this is someone who has an immature way of loving you and they're trying to clean something up because something has definitely become a sloppy mess. Someone knows that what they had with you cannot be replaced or copied. Something cannot be duplicated and they could be in the early stages of realizing that as well as this energy is wanting you to believe they have turned over a new leaf. But they're just trying to clean something up because something has gone awry. I feel there's unspoken words, something that needs to be spoken about the games they play, the, fool, the foolery, the competition, going back and forth with you, only cause you to sever ties, cut them off, or fall back. 
This energy is coming out as the bad apple, someone who is wanting to butter you up. But I feel they're still dealing with some impulsive, reckless ways that always leads them to a dark way of weaknesses or temptation, hmm. causing something to be continued. But I feel even though something has no closure, there will still be judgment as a final decision will be made. But I feel in so many ways, it's just someone who is sitting in a space where they refuse to believe their own reality is true, which is a major reason they're still holding tight to their lies and excuses, believing you'll eventually get tired of standing your ground, causing me to believe this unnecessary battle they created with you was to only distract themselves from the battle going on within. I hope you guys have enjoyed the reading and